What's up guys, it's your boy Huangyi. I've been in the Navy for almost three months now and I realized that it sucks to be poor. Everything I buy drains my bank account like a bitch. <laughs> I thought I was miserly before, but now I'm like, you know, these masks from boot camp suck. They have brown stains on them, they're either too tight or too loose, and I even dropped one of them in the toilet. I should buy some new masks. Holy sh seven dollars? That I'm keeping these masks for life. Mmm, <laughs> that's so stupid. I've also been reading books on financial education like Cash Flow Quadrant and Why A Students Work for C Students by Robert Kiyosaki, and I realized that most of my life I've been conditioned to think like an employee. Go to school, get good grades, get a high paying job, and then buy a house. With this kind of mindset, I realized that I'll never attain financial freedom, which is an awesome situation where I wouldn't have to work but my income would still be bigger than my expenses. How does that work? In order to generate income without working, I have to acquire things called assets. As Kiyosaki says, assets put money into my pocket. The opposite of assets are liabilities, which take money out of my pocket. For example, buying a house and renting it out would be both an asset and a liability. My asset comes from the fact that the house is generating rental income, whereas my liability is the mortgage and the maintenance fees that I have to pay for. Ideally, I would be able to use someone else's time and money to pay for my mortgage and then some, leaving me with a few extra spending bucks. So what's the plan? How do I strike it rich? I believe the answer to this riddle lies in self-education. I'm going to learn how money works by reading books, and I'm also going to develop skills that can make me money in the future. That way, I'll have more options as to how I want to make money and how I can put that money to good use. And just so you guys know, I don't really want to be rich. Money and grades don't motivate me. Anyways, that concludes this video. I'm still prioritizing calisthenics content as my main priority, but I think it would be cool if you guys can learn from my experiences in other areas of my life. Thank you for watching, and I wish you guys lots of grace and peace from God.